Our story begins in California in the late 90s where a group of scientists got a group of cats to watch a movie. The cats had electrodes attached to the visual areas of their brains. The researchers saw how the cats experienced the outside world by hacking into and recording what their brain cells were communicating. With these bits of information, they rebuilt images from the movies, as seen by the cats. In this case, tree trunks, branches and a man's face. Understanding how our brains encode information and how we can crack the code could make superpowers like telepathy a reality. While it seems like science fiction, telepathy or mind reading has a scientific name, brain-to-brain communication. Technically, it's not directly brain-to-brain. Between the thoughts of us humans or cats is a computer, a brain-computer interface. It decodes our thoughts, then communicates and encodes them into another brain. In one study, people's thoughts were able to control the movement of a rat's tail. A human participant and a rat's brain were both connected to a brain-computer interface. When the participant thought about moving the rat's tail, their intentions were captured by the computer, converted into electrical pulses and delivered to the motor cortex of the rat. And the tail flickered. A recent study achieved brain-to-brain communication between humans for the first time. A message was coded by the sender while an EEG recorded their brain's electrical activity. The message was emailed from India to France and delivered to the receiver's brain using magnetic stimulation and flashes of light. All this for a message that was actually a one-word email. Hello. It does show that brain-to-brain communication is possible. Right now, it just involves a computer fancy apparatus and really slow slow transmission speeds. It's clunky compared to the elegant telepathy of Jedi Knights. These are not the cats you are looking for. Telepathy doesn't quite exist as it does in Hollywood, but advances in technology are bringing it closer to reality. We still need a computer interface between our brains. It's not as cool as Star Wars. If you could wear technology and communicate with a thought rather than using speech, text messages or emoticons, would you? And what would you say? If you haven't already, subscribe to BrainCraft. I have a new brainy episode out every Thursday.